In my previous video, I displayed how you can install MongoDB on your Mac OS. So if you don't have MongoDB installed on your Mac OS, you want to go to that video. The link to the video will be in the description or somewhere around in this video. So do well to go to that link because MongoDB is actually a prerequisite for installing MongoDB Compass. <laughs> So once you have MongoDB on the system, then you can go for that to install MongoDB Compass. So you can go to this link. I'll do well to drop the link in the description also. So once you click on this link, it's going to take you to the MongoDB um, website where you can um, get to download the installation file. So here is um, when you're going to click on this download. So once you click on it, it's going to start the download process. And... You're going to see like something like this, but I'm going to pause it here because I had already downloaded it prior. So once the download is um, done, you'll be able to click on um, kind of a folder icon to get to the folder where the download is. Or you can just click um, or you can just go to your um, finder. So when you go to your finder, so you can find it there. So I'm going to just stop this one because I already downloaded it. So just double click on it and then it's going to open something like this for you. So just drag the MongoDB compass into your application folder. So once you've done that, then just do something like this. So it's going to say that I have another version of MongoDB compass, right? And that means I had already installed it. You won't be seeing this if you're installing it for the first time. Well, um, I'm actually seeing this because I already have it. So I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop, right? So, but once you've done this, mm, it's going to install MongoDB Compass on your Mac OS. But if you're like me and have an older version, so update is just drag into the application folder and click on replace. So this is going to start the update process for you. Once that is done, you can go ahead to close this and then you can search for mongodb so mongodb compass you can also open it from here so once you have mongodb open just accept that open so once you have mongodb open you're going to have an interface like this so um remember for you to use your MongoDB Compass, you need to have your MongoDB running. So to do that, um, I have from my previous video of installing MongoDB, I actually shared um, the command that you can use to start your MongoDB um, running on your um, computer. So once you grab that link, I'm also going to drop it in the description in case you need it. Then you can open your terminal, right? So I'm just going to create a new terminal here and then I'm going to paste this there. So once you have this, you're going to click enter. So you're going to see um, a response saying, oh, all right, I actually made a mistake in the particular command where I copied. So I was supposed to copy the first command. I copied the one for stopping it. So I'm going to copy um, this actually and then i'm going to come to my terminal and paste it and this is going to start my mongodb service so once i have that um up and running then i can go for that to click on connect right so once i'm done that you have seen my um mongodb compass is already um connected so this is how you can install your MongoDB Compass and get it up and running on your Mac OS. So if you enjoyed this video, do well to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more of this kind of videos so that you don't get to miss updates when I publish new videos. And do well to click that notification bell so you get to be the first person that gets notified whenever I have new videos. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video.